Linda here from Horror Tree, back again with another dose of my Horror Tree weekly wrap up. And today I'm kind of joined by Milo, and Kona's just down there too. So whether or not these two hang around and try to climb all over me while I'm doing this video remains to be seen. So we will get on with it anyway. So. As usual, today I'll be talking about four submission calls that are currently up on the Horror Tree website. So let's get started. You ready? Yeah? Okay. So the first one is Hearth Stories. Now, the theme for this is Hearth Stories publishes speculative fiction such as fantasy and sci-fi in their case, slice of life stories with a focus on connection family, relationships, comfort, and the natural world. They love stories that predominantly feature nature as opposed to, to tech. If this one does grab you, if it is grabbing you, please jump on the website because there's more info for this submission call than I can go to here. Go into here. Sorry, Conus, now, now join me. Okay, now I've got both of them. Okay. All right, so they are after stories of between 1,000 to 10,000 words. Payment is one cent a word, and the submission window opens on the 1st of September and closes on the 30th of September. Okay, moving on to Iron Fairy Publishing, Holly and Broom, Hawthorne and Ash, Volume 6. Now, they are seeking fantasy, speculative fiction, and horror short stories. They are looking for stories of between 100 to 500 words, excluding the title, with a maximum of one 500 word story and five drabbles per author. Now, if you're not familiar with drabbles, drabbles are 100 word stories exactly, not including the head, not including the um, the title. So the stories are 100 words and they are so much fun to write. I've written them. I think I've spoken about this before in previous videos and they are just so much fun to write. It's, it's such a challenge, but a fun challenge to try and compress a story into a hundred words. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. And anyway, I digress. So reprints or simultaneous submissions, they're not accepting multiple submissions they are accepting and sorry Milo just knocked the camera there um they are after they are paying five to fifteen us dollars depending on word count and the submission window closes on the 31st of december okay moving on to three raven publishing wild magic now the theme for this is forest fay and the concept is changes come for everyone they want you to come dance through the wild places and bear witness to a world that fights against the encroachment of civilization. Wild Magic wants you to peel back the veil and give them a taste of a world full of elementals and strange beasts unseen by any who now walk the earth. They are after stories of between 5,000 to 10,000 words. They are offering royalties as payment and the submission window closes on the 1st of November. Okay, and last but not least is Gypsum Sound Tales Culp on the farm. And that's Culp, C-O-L-P. Okay, so Culp is genre free, but the theme for this is on the farm. So living on a farm means waking up to a crow of roosters, spending days under the wide open skies, tending to crops and livestock and enjoying the simple pleasures of fresh homegrown food straight from the field. Sounds pretty good. Um, they want you to join them in celebrating the spirit of farming through storytelling. They are after stories of between 1,000 to 10,000 words. Payment is five Australian dollars for stories under 2,500 words and Australian $10 for anything above 2,500 words. Submissions close on the 30th of November this year. And that's it, guys. Another amazing week of amazing submission calls. And some of the submission calls coming through have been absolutely amazing and really out of the box 
submission calls that hopefully will get your creative juices flowing. So let them flow, go forth and create. And if you are going to submit to any of these submission calls, all the absolute best of luck to you. And if you are liking these videos, please hit like, hit subscribe, hit share, hit comment. We love hearing from you. Give us a thumbs up if you feel so inclined. And as always, thank you for watching these videos. You are absolute rock stars. And until next time, guys, and I'm going to say, I've got Milo with me. He's going to say goodbye. Yeah, he's going to say goodbye. Okay, so until ne next time, guys, stay safe. Fix your ear up. Stay safe, stay cool, and stay spooky. See you later.